back? Yeah, it was great. Uh, spent most of my time in California this off season. Um, had a great time. You know, wanted my son to be outside a little bit more. The weather in Atlanta is a little too cold for him, so we uh, spent it a, about two and a half months out there this year. We were talking to Fulton. He said, you know, having played meaningful baseball in October, mm -hmm. you get that taste, and you watch guys post October, and you're like, man, we need to get back. And it's a little different off season. It, no way. A little different. Um, I, I, I loved every minute of it, even though it was a little too short. Um, playing, playing those kind of games, it, it means everything to me and everybody in this clubhouse getting back to the playoffs. Um, and now when you walk into this clubhouse and see the guys sitting next to me in this locker right here, it's, uh, it just puts a smile back on your face because you know the winning ways are back. Everywhere he goes, uh, Brian brings winning ways, so uh, I'm excited to get back to, uh, to, to work this year. It made me feel good because I was the one that pretty much said we need to get him. Um, he actually listened to me. Uh, he said everything that happens with Brian this year is on me. So <laughs> I'm going to need Brian to do really good this year. So um, I said if we couldn't get Kurt back, uh, Brian's the guy that we need in this clubhouse every single day. I've been telling everybody it, it could be August 2nd and you could be in a 1-4 spin and he'll walk in and it feels like you, you're 5-0 and and that's what you need. Um, that's what we had when we were, when I was younger. You had those David Rosses, the Eric Kinskis, the, the Brian McCanns that kept the clubhouse together and uh, that's what Brian is and uh, people are going to see that this year. Certainly not a lack of leadership between him and Donaldson and Marquette. And yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot of a lot of good good guys, good good. I would say young veteran guys too. You know, Josh and Brian. They're only 32, 33 years old. Nick, obviously, uh, 34, 35. Who's been around? People respect him. What he did brings to the game and. All these young guys, uh, they're, they're still super young, and they've got a lot of experience already, so I think it's a good group of guys we got. What's that mad professor kind of stuff he has behind the plate that can really help these pitchers? Just it's just experience, and then obviously the guys who's been catching in Houston and uh, with the Yankees and those guys, and obviously coming up with the Smoltz and the Tim Hudsons. It's just he's gained so much knowledge, and when you have such a young staff like we do, it's, it's only going to benefit them. Uh, they need to pick his brain, and um, and that's what he wanted. I was talking to him just back there. He's like, as I've gotten older, I like to talk a lot more to uh, the younger guys and give my experience, and uh, I think that's huge for the, for this group of guys that we got. We saw you at Chop Fest, excuse me, mm -hmm. and you said you were talking to Alex and Perry every yeah. day and saying, what's happening yeah. since then? I talked to him a few days ago. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think I bothered him a lot this offseason, but um, I, I like the group of guys that we got. Um, I know you guys' next question is already going to be, so um, <laughs> it's been good. Uh, they kept me in the loop pretty much all offseason, so I, I appreciated that. Go ahead and answer that next question. Yeah, um, <laughs> I love Craig. Uh, I actually talked to Craig two days ago. Um, he's in town, I know that. Uh, he asked me to golf. That means nothing to any of you guys, but he just said he was in here to play some golf, so... Uh, I saw the picture too, don't worry, so um, we'll see, but I love Craig, but I have heard nothing. That wasn't the question I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it was the question you were going to ask. <laughs> you know, fans have said, you know, he's so interested, he called Alex every day. The response this week was, what does Freddie think that, you know, not another significant Acquisition wasn't made. Well, see, my, my point of view of it is, say we didn't do anything all offseason, then all of a sudden you come in and sign Nick, Brian, and Josh the last week of the offseason, everybody's going to be happy. You know, it's just, I understand that we did it so fast and then things didn't pan out. You know, it's, uh, I've loved, I've, I've read what he said. It, it makes sense. You're just not going to spend money just to spend money because then we'll be put into a situation two, three years from now where we won't be able to, to, to sign to someone who comes up in free agency then. So... Alex has been um, the, a guy that's very patient. Uh, he understands the market. He's been, like he said, he's told me, he's like, I won the offseason in Toronto. Um, it, it just didn't work out. You know, he's, he's gotten to the ALCS twice. He knows what to do. Um, and he did that with trading for David Price and all those kind of things and, and, and the deadline. So if, if we have some room to wiggle in, 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 the, in the deadline, then he's going to go for it. I, we, have, we have a 91 team. Pretty much everyone came back, adding Josh Donaldson and BMAC. Um, you lose Kurt and, you, and Annabelle, but we have those young starters that are going to come back and I feel like they're going to step up huge for it. So I feel like we've got a 91 team that got better. So I'm really looking forward to it.